Yep, you've read the title correctly. Jeffrey Epstein's list has finally been revealed for like the 13th gazillionth time. Okay. Now let me just start this video off by saying I don't want to get banned on YouTube. So I'm going to be very cautious with what I say and how I say things. Okay. But please, guys, if you're a viewer of mine or you're a new viewer, just please use a little common sense of what I mean when I say what I do. Okay. Now, if we look at this uh, man, Jeffrey, right, we already know the history. And if you don't know, I'm going to give a quick summary. He is basically exposed for being a child lover, you know, and because he's a child lover, it was a big ordeal because he was an elitist billionaire that had connections with people such as the president of the United States and uh, politicians, celebrities of big time movies, A-list celebrities and things of that nature. So this is a very big deal. Jeffrey Epstein's list has recently been exposed for, again, the 13th gazillion time. But the names that have been confirmed to be on there are very shocking and will surprise everybody. So I got the list and I'm going to put it right here beside my beautiful, handsome face so you guys can see it. So the people on this list include Detective Joe Riccari, which worked in New York City or Miami, Florida, one or the other, to help with the child trafficking and to save them from predators such as Jeffrey. So it's kind of interesting that you see that Jeffrey Epstein has connections with people that have worked with uh, child social services. Hmm. That's very odd and strange. I wonder why they work with children. Hmm. Maybe so it's easier to kidnap them. Hmm. I don't know. Just uh, some weird dude's opinion. I don't know. But yeah, it's very odd and strange, isn't it? So whenever you look at that, it just makes you think he's literally friends and buddy buddy with a detective. If, if our, if our uh, system is not corrupt here in America, I don't know what else will tell you that. Right. Next, we see Louis Free, the former director of the FBI. What do you think he was doing on Jeffrey's Island? He just wanted to get a pina colada and enjoy the beautiful view of the beach. Or did he go to Jeffrey's Island to have a little bit of secretive fun that was very sexually immoral and disgusting in the eyes of God and very vile even in the eyes of man? Which one makes more sense, right? We see Robert F. Kennedy Jr. This one took me by surprise, to be honest with you guys. But we really can't put anyone on a pedestal in, in situations like this. Because the reality is it's the truth is the truth, whether we like it or not, you know, and I know Robert FK Jr. is running, you know, right now for, you know, president and all that good stuff. And he seemed very sincere. And I know that he has relations, familial relations with John F. Kennedy and all that good stuff. But the truth is that he visited his island, apparently. Right. So, yeah. Next, we see on the list is Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of New York. She is the former wife of Prince Andrew, just in case you didn't know. So even the former wife of Prince Andrew is on that list. And you know who else is on that list? Her husband, her ex-husband, Andrew Albert Christian Edwards. Prince Andrew himself went to Jeffrey's Island. To me, this is very shocking because if you guys don't know, these monarchies such as Queen Elizabeth, Prince Andrew, all these like famous monarchies around the world, they own like whole kingdoms. They own countries around the world. Like literally Queen Elizabeth, when she was here on Earth, she owned all of Australia, just in case you guys didn't know that. So it makes you wonder what is the goal behind these names being released is it genuinely because they care about the public knowing or is this some kind of attack from other nations or other greater forms of power that are trying to make the western celebrities the western politicians look bad now don't get me wrong i'm not justifying what they did i know it's disgusting it's vile and it's disgusting in the sight of god but 
When we look at everything going on, if we think bigger, could this potentially be an attack from people such as BRICS, right? Because we don't see any um, Asians, you know, of Asian descent. We don't see the the Russians. We don't see the Africans. We don't see Hispanic people on the list. You know, all we see are westernized uh, perverted people. We don't see perverted people from all different nations. And that to me is a kind of a interesting thing to think about because it seems very targeted towards westernized countries and nations as if it came from a certain direction. You know, because let's just be real, guys, a certain person working for the FBI in Washington, D.C. in an office is not going to be able to find out all this information. Let's be real. Some someone gave a lead to someone gave a lead to someone gave a lead till eventually this came out. That's the reality. The question is, how did they find out and where did this information come from? I know I may be getting a lot of hate from this, but it's just reality. Think bigger. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's disgusting. Again, I'm not justifying what they did. Um, it's really disgusting. We even have people like, look, I'm going to just go through the list of names so you guys can see how crazy this is. We have uh, Chris Tucker. We have Eva Anderson Dubin. If you guys don't know, she's ex Miss Sweden. So you know how they have Miss America, Miss Peru and all that good stuff. She was the ex Miss Sweden in 1980. So there's actually another theory about that. I'm not going to take up the whole video explaining it. But to sum it up, basically, there's a theory that goes that the Miss America is a Miss Sweden, the Miss uh, Bolivia, Miss Filipina, whatever, that they actually have sexual relations with the judges or they have sexual relations with satanic elitists and they purchase them out for them to become number one that's why you guys will notice when you guys watch like miss america miss spain or whatever when you'll notice that it's usually the girl that doesn't look so attractive the prettier girls are always in the background losing and the reason that is is because the one that wins has to commit to sexual relations before winning that's a whole nother video in itself though um, but outside of Eva Anderson, you see Bill Richardson. He was a former governor of New Mexico. Kind of wild, isn't it? Then after that, you see Cameron Diaz, Bruce Willis, George Lucas. And if you guys don't know who he is, he's the creator of the Star Wars Sega series. So when you guys look at Star Wars, he is the creator of Star Wars. Crazy, right? I know. Then you have Kevin Spacey. You have Michael Jackson. I know. To many people, this may upset them, but the reality is Michael Jackson was clearly a uh, child lover, to say the least. I mean, when you look at Michael, he was very open about him spending a lot of time with children. And I don't think that should come as a shocker to people, but yeah, he's on the list. Um, outside of him, you see Ehu Barak, which is a former Israeli prime minister. Hmm, what a shocker. Next on the list. Al Gore, former U.S. president under Bill Clinton. So he was a former U.S. vice president under Bill Clinton when he was in office. And he went to Jeffrey's random island. Hmm. Then you have Leonardo DiCaprio. And this one took me by surprise, too. Um, but honestly, it shouldn't be surprising because they're all a part of the industry. They're all satanic elitists. And Leonardo DiCaprio, it, it's shocking for probably a lot of people because he's seen as this like very attractive man that can seem to get like probably a lot of beautiful women, right? And and to say the least, not just beautiful women, but beautiful women with that are rich, wealthy, have power at his level. But unfortunately, because they're satanic, they don't like women. They like children more. So, um, yeah, but next on the list is John Cannoli. He investigated Jeffrey Epstein in New York City. So the man that was sent to investigate Jeffrey Epstein for child loving was a child lover himself. Hmm. I wonder why Jeffrey Epstein could never be fully investigated. Hmm. Because he was dipping his hands in the pudding as well. But when we look next, we also see David Copperfield, America's stage magician. He was a very famous magician back in the days, and uh, he liked children as well. He was a child lover. So do we see Hillary Clinton? This honestly doesn't come by surprise. Then we see Donald Trump, and we see Bill Clinton. Nothing uh, shocking there. Now... This is just the reality, guys. This is the list that has been exposed. Now, there's multiple other names on the list I haven't mentioned, but the reason why I mention these names is because they're very uh, well-known names, and these, and this is just to make it more impactful for you guys to realize 
how crazy this is. People from all different types of walks of life, politicians, celebrities, government contractors, employees, all different types of people, lawyers, um, I don't know, models, all a part of it. It's a very scary world that we live in, but we must trust in Jesus Christ. You know, guys, um, let me know what you guys think about the list, because honestly, I think that they are all child lovers. And honestly, they should all be arrested. If we're being honest, they should all very much well be arrested. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, turn on notifications and smash that like button and comment below with your opinions.